In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the best flaxseed gel ever. So this flaxseed gel softens the hair, it detangles, you could use it as a leave-in conditioner or you could use it to wash and go. Not to mention, this also contains natural herbs and ingredients that help to promote growth as well as soften your hair and add the most curl definition to your strands. So I'm going to teach you how to make this step by step and don't worry guys, it's a quick, super simple, easy recipe that you can make in under 15 minutes. So you can customize this gel however you'd like, but this is one of my favorite ways to make this flaxy gel for ultimate curl definition and moisture in order to have the best wash and go ever. So if you're interested in knowing how to make this, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. So there are a plethora of ways that you can use flaxseed gel. You can use it to soften your hair, add shine, you can incorporate herbs like brahmi or hibiscus to strengthen your hair or even henna in your flaxseed gel. And you can also use it to balance your scalp's pH by adding in some rose petals. So today we're going to be focusing on the growth aspect. We're going to use fenugreek, dried rose petals, as well as aloe gel from the leaf. So here is my exact recipe that I'm going to be using today. So you want to start out by measuring about one fourth cup of flax seeds and you could either use ground flax seeds or you could use whole flax seeds. It'll still lead to that nice gelatinous texture that you're looking for. And then you want to add in about one tablespoon of dried rose petals, one tablespoon of fenugreek powder. Now this will also contribute to adding that shine and moisture to your hair as well as promoting growth. Fenugreek is rich in vitamins that help your hair follicles and hair strands. So after you combine all those ingredients into a pot, you're just going to want to add about two cups of water depending on how much gel you want it to yield and how thick you want your consistency. So the thicker you want your gel, the less water you add and it may be a little bit harder to strain, but the more runny you want your gel, the more water you add and you'll also yield more gel. So for this recipe, I want it to be like a medium texture. So I'm adding two cups of water and then I'm going to just go ahead and stir and bring it to a boil. So as you can see, the flax seeds are now boiling and it's becoming more gelatinous in texture. So this is very close to being done and I'm just casually stirring it just to make sure none of these ingredients or the seeds stick to the bottom of the pan because trust me, you'll have a hard time washing if you let it all stick to the pot. So now that it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and strain it using a colander into a glass bowl and it helps if you pick up the strainer a bit and stir it so that way most of the gel could pass through. And this step can be a little difficult, especially if your gel is thicker in consistency. So I'd recommend carefully straining it while the flaxy gel is still hot. Just be very careful so that way it could pass through the strainer. And you'll notice as the gel cools down, it will thicken up. So don't worry if it's a little too liquidy now. In about 10 minutes, you'll have that nice texture. So now we're going to go ahead and add our aloe vera gel straight from the leaf. And first we're going to soak it and clean it and look at how much dust and debris came off my aloe vera leaf after I soaked it for about 10 minutes. So once you soak your leaf, you're just going to want to poke holes in it and get a lot of that gel off of the leaf. Make sure no big clumps fall into it because you don't want those clumps in your hair. Just make sure only the gel part of it goes into the gel. So I'm just gently poking it with a spoon and getting all of it out and then I'm going to just go into squeezing it to get any last bit of aloe vera gel that's within that leaf out into my flaxy gel. And aloe vera is high in proteolytic enzymes. It helps with your scalp's health as well as adding shine to your hair strands and it's also high in proteins so it'll add strength to your hair as well. 
Once you get that aloe vera gel in there, just go ahead and give it a stir to make sure that all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. And then you're just going to want to transfer it into an applicator bottle once everything is all cooled down. Here's a closer look at what my gel's consistency is looking like and it's such a nice thick texture and I absolutely love how this is looking. I just know it's going to detangle and moisturize my curls. For easier application to your curls, I definitely recommend transferring it into an applicator bottle or one of those squeeze bottles that you could get at the beauty supply store. If you followed along this far, congratulations, you've made the best flaxseed gel recipe ever that will promote hair growth, add shine, and detangle your curls. I don't even need any other products applied to my hair. I'm just going to start off with a little bit of this flaxseed gel and I'm going to begin applying it all throughout my curls. And as you can see, I'm easily able to just rake it through my hair and begin to finger detangle to get that ultimate curl definition. This gel is super easy to work with, you just need to apply a little bit to a small section of hair and just rake it through until your curls are thoroughly saturated with the flaxseed gel. As you can see, the sides that are saturated with the gel are so much more shinier and defined than the parts of my hair that have no flaxseed gel. The middle of my hair tends to get very frizzy so I'm just going to work with that section alone so that way I can make sure it stays defined. And here are the finished results of me applying the flaxseed gel throughout my hair. And keep in mind my hair is still wet and I'm going to show you guys how I diffuse my hair so that way I could have dry results. I always use low speed, low heat and then I'll just begin by scrunching up my hair so that way the ends could get dry and then I'll focus the diffuser on my roots so that way I could have dry roots as well as dry ends. And it takes me around 15 to 35 minutes to diffuse. So here are my finished dried results and my hair is super defined, very little to no frizz and I'm just loving how much movement and body my hair has. Honestly, flaxseed gel has never failed me and I definitely recommend this to any curly girl. Flaxseed gel is one of the best gels ever and if you followed my recipe, let me know how it works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below. Mm -hmm.